Howdy do y'all, this is Tommy Beer Whisper. Having a bit of an IPA day. <laughs> I just finished the Boulevard Heavy Lifting. It is that, that trendy style. It's very light in body, very big in hop, 6 to 80. Um, wow, a little spider on the camera. How about that? <laughs> but it's incredibly crisp and refreshing. As I said in the video, you know, I bought a six pack and I meant to do a video right away. Uh, but these kept coming up and before I knew it I would, had one beer left and I hadn't done my video yet so so anyway I just found this today um, it was on sale at my local Mama Jean's market it's a local uh, Whole Foods market not whole, belong to Whole Foods but that type of market got itch sorry about that so anyway I just found this pick your nose Tom damn it hold on I got an itch man Oh, some bitch. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> a smart guy would start the video over from here, but fuck it. No, let's just do this thing. Anyway, 7382 seven, IBUs, I believe it said. Uh, I had it memorized, but now I just went freaking blank. It's kind of a, a cloudy golden. An interesting aroma. Aromas are slightly more muted than the uh, the heavy lifting I had. That heavy lifting was just extremely aromatic. This one has some aroma. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it's not quite as big as that one. I'm certainly getting some uh, some citrus going on amongst some other things. Let's have a drink and we'll keep working on it. Alrighty then, yeah, um, that's interesting, okay. Yeah, I get it, uh, well, right right away, the first thing I noticed was huge tropical fruit, a whole lot of, uh, I, I got some uh, some stone fruit, some apricot specifically, uh, right there uh, in the middle, but then, then I got crushed by tropical fruit flavors uh, uh, along those with some grapefruit, uh, certainly got some mango in there. A little bit of pineapple. Hmm. It's very fruity. It's good. Again, I mean, at some point, these, these start to taste alike. You know what I mean? Everybody's got an IPA like this now, whereas before they all had this particular malt body and particular hops, and they start tasting the same, and now we've got the same thing going in this direction. You know, um, I mean, I don't know. For me, it comes down to, I'm going to say something that's become taboo in correct craft beer nerd world uh, money comes down to money I mean there are a lot of similar IPAs a lot of similar brews out there uh, you know um, in my market running for anywhere between eight to fifteen dollars a six pack and so it depends on, on what flavor profile you're looking for a lot of these are extremely similar so if I can get something very similar for eight bucks a six pack as opposed to something for you know 10 12 15 I'm gonna buy the the least expensive one if I you know if I'm buying beers for any particular reason and the reason I say that is is I typically like a lot of beer nerds I mean we buy different stuff we want to buy different stuff but every once in a while maybe we got a card game maybe we got a picnic barbecue where we're, we're buying a six pack or 12 pack or of, of the same thing for whatever reason, maybe we're bringing it to share. Maybe it's just easier than the, yeah. Because <laughs> typically we drink, or I drink, you know, one of something all night long. If I have four beers, five beers, six beers on a Saturday, it's typically six different beers. But if I'm going somewhere, if I'm doing a barbecue, a picnic, whatever, it's easier to carry a six pack of a single flavor. And if you're doing that, sometimes it's easier to repeat something you've already had that you know others may like. You know, and, and then it does come down down to money. Uh, this was eight seventy five a six pack. It is clearly worth eight seventy five a six pack, in my opinion. Um, and uh, the question: Would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would. I don't know that it's lighting my world on fire, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's not flawed in any way. Uh, again, I don't know that I'm getting anything different that I haven't tasted in practically a hundred IPAs that are on the market these days. I paid about the same price for the heavy lifting and again the same thing it is clearly a buy again it is a quality beer 
it's going to depend on what you're looking for. So I do recommend y'all trying this if you haven't. Whether it lights your world on fire is going to depend on the flavor profile you're looking for. I'm Dominic Beer Whisper trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about and not doing a very good job. I'll see you later.